Hello beautiful people welcome back to another video you are watching pixel roms youtube channel and today i am back with another amazing custom rom for our redmi note 10 pro and this time this is the lineage os 21 and its android version is 14 so in this video i will be covering up what features do we get in this rom and is it stable for daily usage and i will also uh, show you its complete review plus uh, its Geekbench results. So without any further ado or wasting more time, let's get started. So first of all, let's talk about its customization options because custom ROMs are known for their amazing customizations. And in this ROM, we don't get a lot of customization options. Like uh, this is the simple launcher we get in this ROM. From the left, you're gonna access Google Feed. And we only get a few applications installed in this ROM and uh, if we talk about the camera this is the simple camera we get in this room only a few video options and a photo options and a scan option is available in this room but if you want more features like portrait and the slow motion videos and more options in the camera section then you can go for a gcam and uh, the overall performance of this room is pretty much good animations are also played very well as you can see here everything is just working perfectly and if I show you its Geekbench results here we have it it scored 643 on single core and it scored 1581 on multi core and that's completely average for a custom ROM I have not installed any game on this ROM so I cannot show you its gaming performance but still if we look on its minimalistic look and uh, overall good performance it can handle literally every game and it, here we have audio effects for increasing the sound experience and uh, a few applications are also available like galleries pre-installed in this ROM this one and it, it just gives you a proper simple vibe now let's dig into the settings and have a look on the customizations. Let's just cover the home screen first. From the home screen you can access wallpaper and style. And from here we only get a few wallpapers pre-installed. Like if we go to the change wallpaper, here we have uh, like 6, 3, 3, 6, 9 and 12 wallpapers pre-installed. So from here you can change the wallpaper colors, you can enable themed icons and it is working completely fine then you can change the upgrade you can change the icon style you can also change the font style and you can also change the icon shape right from here then we have the widgets options like widgets are also available and they are working pretty much fine you can get any widget of any application right from here then if we go to the home screen settings here we have uh, pretty much little bit settings like here we don't have a lot of customizations but the good thing is that okay, we have the uh, hidden and protected apps in this launcher that's when you don't need to install any third party app locker so now let's go to the settings so in the settings the setting UI looks pretty much uh, simple like the old ROMs and here we have network and setting connected devices apps notifications battery and in the battery section we have battery usage battery saver we don't have any extreme battery saver right here then we have the battery manager charging control and battery information here we have storage options sound and vibration options and display in the display we have brightness level adaptive brightness lock screen and the screen timeout dark theme let's turn it off so then we have screen timeout dark theme you can also adjust the display and text size then we have night light live display which is working fine here we have the display mode options you can also enable the reading mode which will uh, convert every color into the gray here we have color collaboration picture adjustment then we have uh, colors to select uh, profile i am using the boosted one Rotation setting, smooth display. We don't have any option to set up uh, minimum or maximum refresh rate in this room, but still we have the smooth display, which will automatically raise the display uh, rate to 120 Hertz for some content like playing games or um, while the display needs it. Then we have tap to wake, tap to sleep, wake on plug. Then here we have wallpaper in style. We already talked about it. 
accessibility security and privacy the ui of security and privacy has been changed as you can see here it looks pretty much great here it is showing you some alerts that set a screen lock and here we have some privacy more security and privacy options then we have location and some other settings and in the system we have some customizations here we have languages buttons from here you can uh, manage or customize the button settings then we have keyboard system profile status bar from here you can manage the network indicators system icons clock position style battery style uh, brightness slider etc then we have the gesture options here we have quickly open camera system navigation one handed mode which is working pretty much fine you can properly uh, handle your mobile phone with using only one hand then we have date and time backup system updates i don't know if it works or not and then we have multiple users and at the end we have about phone section from here you can check your android version and lineage os version which is 21 so in the android version section you can check android version which is 14 and its android security patch is 5 june 2024 which is latest security vendor is also uh, I don't know if it is uh, latest or not but it is November 1, 2023. So in my opinion if you want a minimalistic and a stable ROM then go for Lineage OS but if you want more customizations and you like more customizations and want to customize your mobile as your taste then go for C Android or any other ROM which allows you to customize your mobile phone but it is not that good in customizations but in overall performance it is good so if you want to install it out on your redmi note 10 pro then the download link and installation instructions are in the description box uh, go read them out and download the rom from there that's it for today i hope you liked it out and if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates keep supporting peace